Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more in the snow about the Sigma 150-600mm to 600 millimeter contemporary zoom lens and just share with you some more of my thoughts and impressions of the lens and its features. As you know, my, my review was not the most thorough review I've ever done. It wasn't, it was definitely was incomplete and I should have waited a little while on it, I know that now. But I was just so excited by the lens and so impressed by what it could do and the images I was getting with it that I just had to share my enthusiasm with you all and I hope you can forgive me with, for that. So anyway, a couple of the subjects I really didn't touch too much upon, if at all, in my review were the autofocus and image stabilization. Now, both of these are actually fairly good, but not they're not great. Uh, they're just okay. Uh, and part of the reason I didn't talk about them in my review is because I think they could be a lot better if I could calibrate the le lens right for the image stabilization and autofocus. Because my, my lens came with a Sigma USB dock, which I can plug in my computer and with some work calibrate the lens. And I, I really want to do that. It's just going to take a lot of figuring out for me. It's going to take some time. Uh, so really, my review was just for the lens without any calibration or anything and sort of excluding autofocus and image stabilization. And since I don't actually often shoot with autofocus lenses a lot of the time, uh, or, or ones with image stabilization, I like using manual lenses. So to me, the image quality and the, what, and the range of the lens and what the lens is, the, the speci speciality of the lens is more important and, and the value of the lens, the build quality, that's all more important to me than the image stabilization or the autofocus. Now, those are extremely important and very useful to a lot of people, including myself. I, I, I know that, but... So, today I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my experiences with those features and uh, what I think of them. The autofocus isn't great. I, I mean, as it is, it is very slow and sometimes will refuse to focus at all in some situations when it's dark out or when I'm shooting at a really low aperture. It's on my it's on my ADD which I usually has a fairly fast autofocus. So uh, yeah autofocus isn't that great before calibration of course. Anyway. Image stabilization really good for photos. I can shoot at impressively low uh, frame rates and still get sharp photos and that's impressive especially out of 600 millimeters. However, you still get a lot of you're still going to get a lot of jitter if you're trying to shoot handheld video. Um, I really don't think this lens is meant for that. It's, it's under any circumstances shooting handheld video at 150 or uh, out to 600 millimeters is really tough. So I guess as good as it does is actually maybe okay. I also want to talk a little bit more about the image quality, and I've really been impressed by how sharp it is and how, how there is very little uh, vignetting or distortion. Those are all great things that are, are like some of my top factors for image quality of lens. The only thing I have been noticing, especially when I was, shoot, I was shooting photos yesterday, is that you can run into some pretty bad color fringing at very, at, out of 600 millimeters if you're shooting in really bright conditions with a lot of uh, contrasting edges. But that's easily fixed in post and in most of my images, it hasn't been an issue at all. Another thing I, th I thought was worth mentioning is that this is how heavy and bulky this lens is. If you're only used to shooting light with uh, small lenses, with kit lenses and pro uh, small primes, and like I am, this is a huge lens. And just carrying it around will wear you out. And it's not it's probably not going to fit in any of your smaller bags. You're, like, I'm actually planning on uh, getting and reviewing a uh, new camera bag, a camera backpack pretty soon, just because this lens just won't fit, even in my large uh, Canon bag that came with my old 60D back in the day. It's a big lens, but fortunately Sigma did include that handy dandy uh, carrying case that, it, it came, that the lens came in, and that, is, that, that has been a lifesaver. Uh, so, you can carry the random lens around separately, but it, I, I'm not sure I feel secure doing that, and it's not, conven not convenient, or, and it's a little bit awkward. So anyway, this is, that's it for the first of the 
supplemental uh, follow-up reviews to my review of the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary zoom lens. And I hope you found it helpful. I hope it makes up a little bit for my uh, slapdash effort on my last one. Um, though I still stand by what I say. This is a great lens for if you're trying to shoot wildlife on a low budget. It is awesome. But anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you'll hit that like button and the subscribe button. Maybe hit that notification button so you can keep up to date with all my new videos. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!